Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. Today is harvest day for my carrots and beets. It's pretty warm, a little warmer than I would like for a harvest day for root veggies, but um, it's going to continue getting warmer and warmer as spring comes in. I need to get these out of the ground. They're not quite to the size that I wanted, but I have other things that I want to get in here, and they're still decent size, so not all of them are. So I have some summer or winter. I'm trying to decide which I put in this bed but some squash that I'm gonna put here so I've got a couple plants that need to come out so I'm just gonna take this out hopefully we get a decent harvest we'll see how it is and then I'm gonna go over what I do for long-term storage because we don't plan on using them in the very near future so they should last quite a while in the fridge with the right preparation all right so let's start pulling them these two here yeah they're nothing so those will go to the chickens those just didn't grow, but we've got some larger ones here. Oh, a couple of these have doubles, so. So that one's not bad right there. I'll give this one to the chickens. And what I'm not giving to the chickens, I'm going to cut off immediately these greens, like so. I leave a little nub. Okay, so not, not a whole lot. In fact, that might not, I might need to get a little more off. There we go. I leave that. We give the greens to the chickens. Let's let's reach in and grab some more. There we go. That's a good one. So these are the tender sweet variety. There we go. That might be cut a little too deep. Okay, a little too close because I see a little orange. We want a little more there. That might not store very well. Got a funky shaped one. There we go, that's a perfect cut. There, oh, that's a good one. Look at that, guys. Now this one grew a ton of green, as you can see, but I think it's still a good sized carrot, but now on these bigger ones, I'm gonna cut a little further back because the orange kind of comes up higher on the super, super big ones. Now this is the longest one. Look at the size of this one. But it's not the fattest. Although the greens would make you think it is. So this one right up there. Excuse the train, guys. But not bad. So that's all the tender sweets. Let's move on to the rainbow blend. These are going to be a mix of whites and reds and purples, I think. Yep, there's a white one. Wow, that's a good size. Look at that. Oh, the tip broke off. So that will not store very well. Another white one. You know, this rainbow blend seems like almost all of them turned out white last time as well and we've got a couple you know it's white and orange now this is i think supposed to be the red variety you can see it's a darker orange than these other so that one was supposed to be red but see they're almost all white so i ended up buying carrots that were specifically just purple and just red because the kids like them, they're fun. There's a yellow carrot. You can see, comparably, it's yellow. Um, there we go, there's a purple one. Kids will like that. But it's funny, the, so the outside's purple, but the inside is actually still orange. Oh, another purple, there we go. That's what I like to see. I mean, they don't really taste any different, I'm going to be honest. Um, but it's just, you know, the kids like them. And so they eat them more. Oh, that's a good one. Look at that carrot. It's nice and fat. Now these are the small ones. These are the little uh, round ball carrots. Um, called Parisian carrots. We'll do the same thing. Just cut off the, the tops here. 
nothing there. That goes to the chickens. Oh, wow, that's the biggest Parisian I've seen. I know that they get that size. Yeah, there's a couple good ones in there. Wow, that's a chicken one. All right, let's see. I think these are Persian as well. Yep. Oh, the, wow, that's the biggest so far. Holy moly. Wow, guys. Look at that one, it's huge. Yeah, this line of Parisian carrots just got giant. All right, I'm gonna harvest all this, I'll bring you guys back. All right, so I've got a ton of greens for the chickens. This is all I'm gonna give them today. I'm gonna take a baggie, put it in my fridge, and then I'll have greens to give them tomorrow as well. I've only, haven't even harvested half they love this stuff this is and it's really good for them so check it out guys i only harvested not even half of this bed now these were over here the oldest okay right about here is where i stopped and um i did like a secondary planting so let's see yeah there's not a lot going on here let me we'll pull up a couple okay that one's not bad that one's not bad Hmm, I'm trying to decide if I leave these for another little bit. Eh, that can go to the chickens. Uh. Hmm. Let's see. So, we've got those. I want to say that's the Danvers, and they're supposed to get huge. Yeah, that's the Danvers, and they didn't get that big yet. So I think those need time. These are getting really tall. So let's see, let's pull one, see what those look like. These are the, yeah, they're the atomic reds. And you can see we've got some fat shoulders on it, but it's still narrow on that going down. So they do not, they haven't had enough time. So, so I think I'm gonna have to leave this bed for another week or two on this side. Now I do have, some beets that need to be harvested because they have gotten huge check out that guys and you know i could could let them go a little bit longer no question but these leaves are just getting so big so huge um and then we eat these leaves they're really good they're really sweet and stir fry they're just amazing so this we don't cut the tops off just yet of course if you've got any yellowing like that one you do but uh you cut it off right before you store it but um i'm gonna go cut that off inside and keep it so we had one that got big see and then this one's nothing i'll keep this one for the leaves that's not a very big beat at all so this one is called a chigagia or something like that I, I don't know how to pronounce it guys but it's got rings of red and white they're really pretty um this right here is the Detroit red. And so they're really deep red. They're really almost purple red. And that's this one. So we got a couple beets out of this. Um, and we're going to leave these carrots for just a little bit longer. They just need a little bit more time. But I can start, I can actually get what I was going to plant. I'm going to put two um plants here and i can start those they're still small it'll take them a while to get big and so i can get those in the next couple days probably do it tomorrow honestly um and then wait to finish out we've got a pretty decent harvest here bunch of carrots now to store these okay it's very important you do not wash these you can brush off okay so i'm letting them sit out and dry a little bit in fact i don't mind them drying even more i do not want these beets to dry so I'm gonna let these sit out and I can actually spread them out 
so like so and let them kind of dry a little bit so that's going to cause if i'm going to store them for long term that's going to cause the the outside to kind of harden a little bit more it's going to keep the moisture in for longer term i want to do this for about 30 minutes no more and then i can just brush off the dirt i don't want to wash them brush off the dirt and then stick them in bags storage bags like plastic bags are fine um, and put them in the the crisper drawer and they will last for months that way so i'll bring you guys back once i pull these out and bring them inside and brush them off and you'll see what i'm talking about all right and so one thing with storing beets is you do not want to wash them you just want to get off as much of the dirt as you possibly can uh, you can definitely use like a brush uh, or your hand and just kind of get most of this off and then we cut the the tops off store this top separate these will last for a couple days these will last for months in the crisper drawer um, you can wrap them with a paper towel if you want or um, but don't don't seal them with a bag uh, just a paper towel is good wrap them with a paper towel so as you can see i'm just using a paper towel here to brush it off you don't want to brush too hard and damage the skin but you're just basically that's what you're doing and they come out pretty clean and now they can go in the crisper drawer in your fridge wrapped in a paper towel all right these have been out for about 20 minutes yeah, 20 to 30 minutes is good enough all right there we go guys that is a pretty decent harvest i mean it's not huge but for a small little bed like this that's not bad so what i'm going to do is i'm going to brush all this off same way i did with the beet i'm going to take a paper towel or you can use a cloth whatever you want and just kind of brush off as much dirt as possible you know you you're going to want to get it to you know right about there is good you know a little bit of dirt is fine but you just don't want caked on pieces you know like this just make sure all this is off you could just use your hand too but you don't want to brush too hard or you'll start removing that outer layer you just kind of a light rub get most of the dirt off you know stuff like this you just want to kind of remove so for storage you don't want to rub hard a light rub if you can't get all the dirt off that's okay you wash it right before you use it but just kind of light rub and if you rub hard and you feel like moisture then you rub rub too hard and you'll have to use that right away we've got some cake dirt on this one um, that i would have to probably damage it to get it off so we'll just leave it and that's it and these are going to go in a plastic bag sealed bag right in the crisper drawer if you don't have a crisper drawer put in the coldest part of your fridge so the very back if that's the coldest all right guys so i got these two bags i also got some of these these didn't fit in the bags they were just a little bit too long so i'll eat those the white ones were just huge i had brushed a little too hard um like in that video so i got these these are the smaller ones i got some shorter ones here and also the little um Prisian carrots okay and then these are the the normal longer longer size ones um you can see there's a little steam forming in the bag that's good that means that we still got moisture that's what you're trying to preserve by putting them in a plastic bag you don't want them drying out so it's it's good to get them in the fridge as soon as possible all right so both of these are going in the crisper drawer i got so much in my crisper drawer 